over the years, we've progressed and developed. And personally, I never used to believe in bots or, or EAs because I always wanted to be in control, especially of, if you're controlling risk on a sizable account. But as years have gone on, these bots have become impressive to, to some extent. Some of them are performing extremely well. So as years pass, I believe that we will move into a lot more algorithms, a lot more trading bots, trading robots, and perhaps these may be used at a higher institutional level. Or Trading with the trend is the best strategy, especially for new traders, to start trading. You are trading in line with the world's largest banks and major players, and you are simply what we call jumping on the coattail of the big players in the game. You will be swinging with the tide, not against the tide. When a market's trending, it's being pushed in a direction of favor for whatever reason that may be. You want to identify that trend from a higher time frame typically starting with a daily time frame. Every candle you read will represent one day, and a continuation of buyer candle after buyer candle after buying candle will suggest the market's in a strong uptrend. What we do know is the market never moves in a vertical line. It breathes, it cycles. So when you drop down to the smaller time frames, which provide more bars, more cycles, more opportunity, and essentially exaggerate what the bigger picture is doing, this is when you can find cyclicity and cycles within the market. Anyone that has any sort of trading or interest in trading would have heard the term buy the dip. And in essence, that's what you want to look for when trading in an uptrend on one of the smaller time frames. You want to buy on a retracement where the markets come for a, the markets come to a cheaper price to attract more buyers to bring the price back up. So by following higher time frame trends, you're going to ensure you're trading in line with the big players of the game. And by dropping down to perhaps a four hour or a one hour time frame, that's going to allow you to identify cyclicity to time your entry correct. Other indicators you want to use, perhaps moving averages, which give you the average price of a trend based over a set period. We use a 20, 50 and a 200 EMA. And if price is above all three moving averages, we're acting on price being stronger than the overall average. Therefore, we continue buying on strength. I personally use the 20 moving average as a guideline to look for my retracement lower, meet the 20 moving average, bullish engul engulfing or buyer's continuation candle back above the 20 moving average, suggesting the buyers are back in control after the recent retracement. And that will give you an early entry into the recent phase, trading in line with the overall trend. There's many more factors that may come into trend-based trading, but I hope this was a simple breakdown for any new trader looking to trade simple trading strategies. Just to recap, you find daily direction, you drop down to the smaller time frame where you'll find more bars, more cycles, more opportunities. You ensure that price is now trading back above the average price, so we're gonna continue buying on strength. And you may wanna use the 20 moving average to act as your guideline when pulling the trigger to ensure you're trading at the start of the phase that's about to begin. The industry is evolving hugely, and it has to be AI and artificial intelligence as that area starts to grow. When I first started trading, you had banks using simple algorithms for risk management tools, but anything like trading bots and algorithms that are fast paced or high frequency trading, that type of thing, was non-existent. So over the years, we've progressed and developed, and personally, I never used to believe in bots or, or EAs because I always wanted to be in control, especially of, if you're controlling risk on a sizable account. But as years have gone on, these bots have become impressive to, to some extent. Some of them are performing extremely well. So as years pass, I believe that we will move into a lot more algorithms, a lot more trading bots, trading robots, and perhaps these may be used at a higher institutional level. The next big thing is going to have to be anything AI related. When I first started trading, there wasn't many AI related or bots or tools that you could use to trade high frequency and, and, and manage the current market volatility. And you was always told to be in control and manage your own risk. So yes, there were certain algorithms and sort of hedging tools that were used many years ago, but nothing uh, or not as many as you see these days so the next big thing i personally believe will have to be ai related i mean that whole industry is booming as it currently stands so as technology gets better and traders adapt to perhaps 
not being so involved in their overall position taking and risk managing and can rely on a sustainable bot or, or, or robot to control their positions, then it will definitely be that way. So I think watch that space quite closely. I think that's going to evolve hugely over the next few years, but let's see. When a new trader gets into the market and perhaps it's not working for them, they look for the next best thing. They want to become lazy and find a tool that's going to do all of the hard work for them. Now, algorithms can be great, but remember they're not human and they're not managing their own risk. Some algorithms that I see out there, they double up in losing trades. Now, that's a simple robot. It doesn't know how much exposure you have in the market. It doesn't know how much margin you've got left. So what I do see is new traders getting greedy, over-risking on these algorithms and putting their risk and lot size right up to have one or two amazing days of doubling their account. But as soon as the market turns, which it does, how volatile we are at the minute, it comes crashing down. So I feel like new traders rely too much on bots and perhaps become lazy and want someone else or a robot to do all of the work for them, when really if they put six to nine months of solid, solid hard work in, they'll develop their own strategy, their own way and means of the market, and they will find consistency being 100% in control. That starts with setting realistic expectations from the get-go. You're never gonna win 10 out of 10 trades every single time. Most professionals work to seven or eight winning trades out of 10, which means you immediately put your hands up to saying, I am willing to lose three trades out of 10. Once you accept that risk and you're willing to win seven or eight trades out of 10, you can maintain consistency at that success rate for a very long time. To put pressure on yourself to win every single trade, it's just not gonna happen. We have to be realistic. So at the beginning, day one of your trading career, accept losses. It's part of the journey, part of the game, they're always gonna be there. And of course, if you manage your risk to perhaps trading at no more than 1% risk per trade or less, your emotions are gonna stay out of the picture because you're accepting that from the day you start trading. I personally work to seven or eight winning trades out of 10, and I'm happy with that. One reason new traders consistently fail is they are underfunded, and then they go trading the completely wrong assets for them. New traders are amazed by the fast paced movement of gold, silver, oil, Dow Jones. They get hooked on these markets and probably have an amazing first, first month in their trading career. However, that changes on their second month and it comes crashing down. You've all heard of these success stories that a trader takes a grand to 30K and loses the rest the next day. It happens day in, day out because you're uneducated. It's a fact. Traders need to think about their growth in percentage terms. If a trader starts with 500 pound and makes 50 quid in their first trading month, you should be over the moon at 10% growth. However, 50 pound isn't gonna change your life and therefore the, fo the following month, the trader increases their risk, trying to double their account or flip their account to whatever they wanna flip it to and it all comes crashing down again. So start to think about percentage growth, ignore the figures if you do not have the ability to trade a larger account get consistent from three to six months, and then approach someone like us who will take your journey to the next level. We may even fund you.